shoe polish. Somebody said something about shoe polish. Here or was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday on the phone. Had a lot. How, how, did, how would you guess you do the focus? Shoe polish. Who has shoe polish? I can't call him Bob anymore. I think he's. <laughs> <laughs> Most people don't shine their shoes anymore. So you don't have a problem. Well, I remember uh, years ago, we had a fellow at our house. And he must have just polished his shoes. We had a meeting with him and his wife in our dining room. Uh, and after they left, I mean, he, he must have constantly been doing this with his shoes, and it was just, it's been years and years ago that it was just awful. Uh, <coughs> it did get it up. didn't have all the nice, handy things I have today that uh, was able to get it up. What, what, uh, what do you suppose we do for shoe polish? This. Oh, well, let's see what we do. Now, I know Bob, he would start with safety salt, right? I love it. <laughs> he, drink, he drinks safety salt. <laughs> Got it in every room of the house. That's, uh, that's, that's why the hair is missing. It, it tastes yeah. good from the last drop. Puts on his hamburgers. Yep, yeah. you know it. That's my go-to stuff. That's, it. that's your go-to. Have you started using the new formula yet? <coughs> No, I have not, but I do have it. Okay. Not in the gallon bottle. Is it as good? <laughs> it's twice as strong. Is it really? Oh, yeah. Because a mineral spares was just kind of like having water in a detergent. It, its purpose was to make, a, make it lighter and, and uh, cut the cost down. So I can't use mineral spares on it anymore. Agitated and, of course. John, what did you say you would use mineral spares? Huh? You said you can't use mineral spirits. Yeah, you can't use mineral spirits in any formulas anymore oh, oh, or, sorry, I'm sorry. for spotters. So we had to take it out of the uh, uh, safety solve. That's why it's in, in, and you can only sell spotters in ports now. Right. Uh, that law's been around. Of course, you know what state it started in. California. Power gel. <laughs> mentioned that they don't see shoe polish too much anymore. I don't know. Every Friday morning here, I polish my shoes. But, of course, I get a lot of stuff on my shoes, too. My shoes, uh, yeah, they don't last very long. They, it's, it's not the, it's the stuff I spill on my shoes. Work it in to emulsify it. What do you suppose we do next? Extract. Redo if need be, and then of course Bob would hit it with Stain Magic next. Let's get the bulk of it. One of you asked what's in here, it's just water. Really, if I had detergent, probably it would work a little better. A little more prosol liquid. Power gel. How do you want to put that prosol directly on the carpet? Well, sometimes you have no choice. Do it do as I say and as I do. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> but, well, don't worry. We're you're only doing what we would do anyway. Yeah. <laughs> he knows that. That's why he's not wearing his clothes. Yeah, we would be wearing our hands. So it's so handy to wear his clothes. Yeah. Yeah.
about the bulk of it. There's a little bit left. I think what I would do is do the stain magic. But your question was a valid one about the prosol liquid. I'm not so worried about delaminating as I am something else. That's, that's the thing to always be worried about, and that's why you have stained blotter. Right. Always assume it's going to wet back. Always assume it's going to you're going to have a leaking problem. But if you dry that quickly, though, you should not always assume. <laughs> always, always assume. Because the problem is, how much does it cost to put a little bit of stain blot down here versus the labor, the time, the gas, and everything else is coming back out here, plus you have an unhappy customer. You always assume, because not 70% of the time it's going to leak back anyhow. So you might as well assume it's going to, you're going to have a waking problem. Plus, it looks so much more professional. You just explain to them what's happening, how it might be down here in the back. I put the stain blotter on this, and here's a term to use with that. It acts as a poultice. It acts as a poultice. Most housewives know what a poultice is, is where you've got a, a cut, a wound, and it keeps oozing. I'm trying to prepare you for lunch here. Pus is <laughs> and I'll put something on there to absorb it. And that'll help you out again. You ready for lunch? I'm ready. <laughs> Should I talk about vomit? Hey, we could. Yep. <laughs> Great people. Bother me. It doesn't bother you. I'll hit this with stain magic and iron, see if it does any good. Do you want Bob? I, Bob, you know, you 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 would have done. Uh, where's my shoe, Bob? You would have used say safety saw, wouldn't you? Well, actually, actually. since you put the pro saw on there and it says not to. Uh -huh. A lot of times what we will do is have safety solve in a bottle, a uh -huh. bottle. Uh -huh. I will squirt it direct yeah. and extract it immediately. Yeah, extract immediately. And many times it will snap it right out. Snap it right out. Oh. I hope you obey my rule of always using uh, assuming Multiple it's going to vacuum wet. masses. <clears throat> okay. We would normally hit this with stain magic. You know, when all else fails, We'll just put that on there and we'll leave it for a little bit and take a peek at it later. So we've got a lot of things going on over here. All right. Do I have all of your registration slips, by the way? How many people do we have? Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. 30, 32, 33. I was about right. They asked at the restaurant how many people we had. I told them 35, but that not everybody would be going to Murphy's. I wanted to go to warn them. Oh, there's the shoe polish that I was looking at. Should I go ahead and try safety solvent? <coughs> sure, sure. Always. Awesome. You know why I would uh, try safety solve first? Because you made it. Because <laughs> it works. I have a more practical reason. Okay. How much does this cost versus this? Oh, much yeah. less. Much less. Oh, yeah. Yes. Will it do better? You can pour that directly on. I'm just, oh, sure. Wow. <laughs> I've honestly never. Now, you're not that. supposed to do that. I know that. But <laughs> we're, 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 I would do it properly, but I think we're in a little bit of a hurry. You got enough on that arm to go So let's annotate it. We'll power gel to emulsify it. We'll do it Bob's way and see how it compares. No, Bob just uses a safety stop. <laughs> I'm with you on that, Bob. I've got stock in it. <laughs> it's, on, it's on the trader's market. No detergent in hot water. 
That was just for safety solvent and the uniform. How, do, how does that compare? Do you think that the pro-solve liquid is stronger than the safety solvent? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're, they're two, but they're two entirely different chemicals. Right. Some, some uh, just plain old ordinary oil, crankcase oil, something like that, tar. safety solvent, tar, safety solvent is perfect for. You start getting into lipstick, mascara, <coughs> permanent marker, things like that, shoe polish. It's what we call polar. That means that, I don't want to get into it, it means that those things are more susceptible, instead of a chlorinated solvent, they're more susceptible to something along acetone, which is one of the main ingredients in there. There are about five different solvents in here, but one of which, you can smell it, is acetone, another is methyl acetate, whole bunch of things, but they're all what they call, what we call polar solvents. So, so what that means is this works great, and if you're trying to save money, well, I guess you could start with the safety solve, get the bulk of it out. If you have some more left, then you can follow up, follow up with this to get the rest. Because, yes, this is obviously more expensive. And what I notice is, as soon as I put that on there, the stuff that had not dissolved before instantly started dissolving. Power gel. It's always, if you're doing the two together, it's always yellow tube followed by black tube, or some solvent the, followed by black tube. So you have gel solved anymore? No. The power gel replaced it? That's yeah, that. yeah. The, what we found was you know, it used to be very popular, but what we found was when we started selling these, everybody wanted this, and our sales of gel solve went boom. Okay. Very, very seldom, and, and it's, and it's difficult to make. It's very difficult to make. Safety solvent wasn't as good, but I got 80% of it out with the solvent that's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Then I could go with the more expensive solvent with the stuff in the black tube and extracted it out. And used less. And I used less, and so I have less on the back. Right. So there's... With safety <coughs> solvent, is it possible that you're driving it into the back or is you dissolving it? 